All of these bitter cold days have you feeling cooped up in the house. Well, if you're looking for a fresh idea for fun for the kids, you might want to add the Play Street Museum in St. Charles to your list. Molly Rose is here to talk to the owner this morning in our STL Moms Report. Sounds like fun, Molly. Yeah, it does. It has everything from a cute little indoor town for the kids to explore to slime play and more. And Nicole Simon is joining us to tell us more about the museum. She is the owner. Good morning, Nicole. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. So this sounds like a great place for the kids to burn off some uh, pent up energy. What all do you guys have to offer there? Um, well, we um, focus on open play and the kiddos just discovering on their own. So we have a little town that they can explore and um, play and run around and um, just imagine in, in this space that's, that's safe for them to be able to explore it. I love these cute little houses they can check out. Is any of that modeled after the St. Charles area? It's not, but our fire truck um, does say St. Charles on it for the for the area. <laughs> and you guys have some slime uh, slime making stations, is that right? Yes, we do. Um, a lot of the older kiddos love making slime, so we have a little slime lab where they can make um, slime when they're in. Also, um, and we also do slime making like on the weekends for events and stuff. So you can kind of bring the older kids. Maybe they can play with the slime. The toddlers can run around in the houses. You have some sensory yeah. kits. What are in those? So the sensory kits are meant to take home. Um, they were developed by um, our corporate team um, during the pandemic to just allow kiddos to play with like Play-Doh and like little tiny toys and different things to like kind of um, take a little bit of the museum of open play um, home during the um, like give them something extra to do. So you can get things there. <laughs> and it does seem like a good place maybe for the smaller kids or the toddlers. It seems small enough that you can't lose them in there, um, which is really nice. Uh, can you talk about what does it look like in there when it's open play? I mean, how many kids are allowed? How does that all work? So um, during open play, we do about 25 kiddos. Um, and it is just one big open space. So you can sit in one space and basically see them everywhere they are. Uh, which is nice because you won't lose, if you have multiple kids, <laughs> you won't lose them in different areas of like museum because we're all in one space, which is great. And just to clarify, this is a place where you can bring your kids and you stay there with them, right? You watch them play. It's nothing that you're dropping off and leaving. Yes, yes, yes. You can either watch them play or you can join in and play with them. Any reason or what would you say to people who haven't made it out that way yet? Uh, maybe it's a drive for them or they just haven't gotten around to it. Why should they come check you guys out now? Um, well, it's winter time, so it's great <laughs> to burn off some energy, um, maybe before nap time or um, after school when the kiddos get out. Um, but they're able to just run around and play and have a lot of fun and give the parents kind of a break for, for a little while, which is nice. Before nap time. I like that idea. That's good to keep in mind. All right, Nicole Simon, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll send things back over to uh, Randy and John. Thank now. you.